What a day, what a day. Let's see what the temperature is. 9.3 inside, 11.1 outside. Celsius. But once that sun comes around, you see it's still kind of over the ocean. Once it comes around, it comes in this window. It'll be hot in here. So just down checking on the cabin and I'm pretty happy that there's no ants. I don't see any ants, no dead ones, no live ones, nothing. So it's pretty awesome. Also these windows, I have the drill bits now that can cut glass, ordered from Amazon. I'm uh, gonna have to figure out a way to pump some cleaner in between the panes of glass once I do drill holes in there. I have a camper pump. That was uh, obviously in a camper used for pumping water to the uh, taps and stuff. So I don't know if I can uh, bucket a bunch of water here, run that pump to my battery and feed a hose in and spray some cleaner inside once I drill a hole in the window. Obviously I'll drill it in the top and I'll drill a hole in the bottom for the water to escape. And uh, hopefully that'll get the windows cleaned up I don't really know what else to do. I can't replace the window because the, the you know the log the log wall is cut precisely for this window. So and this is an old window I found <clears throat> actually my brother found in the dump years ago. So so it's not like I could just grab another window and put in there, you know. But uh it's such a beautiful day. I'm going somewhere and having a fire. I just want to have a fire somewhere. Gonna make some tea. Maybe toast a bologna sandwich. Listen to the birds. The birds are singing. You can hear the brook running down there. What a day. Anyway, let's go and uh, find somewhere to have a boil up. So this spot here, I'm, I'm gonna have a fire right down by the beaver pond. I actually had a boil up here over the winter when I was doing a little ice fishing here. So I'll just use that same fire pit now. I don't think I showed you guys my new saw yet, but I, I did pick up the uh, Boreal 21. Uh, you know, I've had the Silky for, I don't know, four or five years now. <clears throat> and uh, seems like, you know, it's always a competition between the Silky and the, and the Boreal. So I wanted to uh, try out the Boreal myself. My silky was getting a little dull, you know, I've had it a long time, so I decided when it was time for a new saw that I was going to try the Berea. Now, I'll be able to, uh, you know, I'll be able to tell which one I like the most instead of just listening to other people's opinions. And whatever one I like the most is the one I'll probably stick with when I need replacing again. I'll, 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 uh, I'll pick up which one I like best, obviously. So far I'm liking the Boreal, however it does pack longer so it sticks, sticks out of my backpack. The Silky I could fit right in my backpack, so, but I'm liking how, uh, how this one cuts a little better. You know, it's, uh, the Silky I used to find would uh, bend every now and then, but still I'm going to put this one through the test yet and, uh, and we'll see what happens. The other saw I have is the Silky Big Boy 2000. As I'm sure you've all seen a million times.
like that. Very happy with the Prevail so far. I don't carry it on my hip because it's a little loose in the uh, in the sheath right now. So I'm terrified I'm gonna lose it. So that's why you don't see it on my hip, but it's always in my pack. I'm gonna see if I can do something, maybe put a elastic lan lanyard on there. So when I put it in the sheath, I can pull that lanyard down around the Okay, so it holds the knife in. It wasn't like that when I first got it, but now it's a little loose. Like I said, I really don't want to lose it. My adjustable pot hanger. One hundred percent unnecessary, but still lots of fun. Seriously, what is the point to go out and cook food in the woods and boil water for tea and stuff if you're not having fun? This is not a survival situation. I'm out here for fun. So I'm going to make sure I have fun when I'm out here. Got some nice tick bologna, some tick bologna, some bread, make a nice bologna sandwich, have a cup of tea, just enjoy the beautiful weather. bag in there
Oh yeah, that's some nice strong tea now. Look at that. Just the way I like it. I love this cup from Bitty Big Q, titanium cup. I also have the utensils to go with it, folding utensils. All made of titanium, so super lightweight. Ding. Time to toast some bread, I think. And that's a good looking sandwich there. All right, time to eat, enough waiting. Mm. <laughs> I'm real. It's just a bologna sandwich. But so good. If you know, you know. If you don't know, get out there and try it. So guys back to the quad thanks a lot for coming on coming along today you know not much of a video just a little get out and enjoy the weather kind of day you know but uh, still working on the woodworking project you know I finished up a big part of that last night I'll post another picture on patreon uh, my patreon people they know what's going on there now I shared a little sneak peek a couple weeks ago so I'll, I'll post some more pictures there now uh, the roof for the cabin we're getting closer every month we get a little closer with the patreon donations so that's going to be a project coming up the glass cutting drill bits i have now so drilling into those uh those windows i have the double pane that's going to be a bit tedious i think and a little nerve-wracking for me but we'll drill into there and see if we can get the inside of those panes clean hopefully that'll work out and fishing season opens again in a couple weeks i got a, a backcountry trip planned there but definitely see a bunch of uh, trout fishing coming soon and also big shout out to everybody who watched my last video there with the trail the hiking trail there i'm uh from by my community um it's been a stressful week since i uploaded that because a lot of people tried to make me out to be a bad guy you know uh instead of uh you know what i was doing i'm trying to promote and, and bring bring more uh, tourism to our community but i don't know there's a lot of corruption and a lot of greed going on there behind the scenes so but anyway uh it's out there now you know i had people right in the council the town council complaining about me making videos on that trail and 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 telling people about the fossils and stuff but i just don't understand it like 
we have this uh, huge tourist attraction really <clears throat> you know we could take advantage of it as a community and and, and promote it and but uh, yeah I don't know what's going on but anyway the town council now is uh, has signs purchased they ordered them you know um, warning people about the, how the fossils are protected and stuff and there's huge fines if anybody gets caught damaging them and stuff so that's awesome my fossil signs that I put on the trail they went missing a couple days later I put them back they went missing again actually they went missing I found one out in the woods I, so I guess whoever removed them took them and just chucked them but uh, I put it back went missing again and I put another one back so we'll see what happens there I don't know it's probably gone too but somebody does not want people on that trail you know you know, I know I understand people don't want the fossils uh, damaged or anything, but I don't either, you know. Like to, to steal fossils from there, you would have to bring like concrete cutting saws and everything out there. And it's, you know, it's a bit of a hike. Like people will most likely get caught trying to steal anything, anything from there. So instead of trying to hide this trail away, we need to, we need to bring it to light, you know. We need to uh, get people out there. There's a volunteer trail committee that's starting up. I'm going to join that. And uh, yeah, it should be good. But uh, like I said, a lot of people are trying to make me out to be the bad guy, but I don't really care. You know, I, I uh, love a bit of controversy, to be honest. So I'm down for whatever, you know. I'm trying to bring tourism to our community for businesses. I have nothing to gain from it, you know. Nothing. But anyway, if anybody comes to uh, Trinity, Trinity Bay North want to see the fossils, let me know. The signs are probably going to be missing there, telling you where the fossils are, so uh, inbox me or something and I'll drop you a pin, you know, I have no, no problem telling anybody where the fossils are. They should be seen, you know, it's, it's a thing of beauty really, so it should be seen and it should be admired, but also it has to be respected, you know. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, lots more videos coming, uh, don't forget to like my Instagram and Facebook. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.